Hey everyone, welcome back to the Pack Bros YouTube channel. My name is Chris. I'm Rob. And today we are opening 2021 22 Upper Deck Ice. Now, it took us a little bit to get this. I know <laughs> you guys might be thinking, why you guys open it so far after release? It's not even that far away from release. Um, I accidentally ordered, pre ordered next year's ice. And then after talking, uh, texting, we realized we ordered the wrong one. So I had to cancel that and then re order this one. Anyways, it's here now. You've been really excited about this. I want to know yeah. what is the reason why you just got a good feeling. Okay. You, have you been looking forward to this? It's what, a combination it? of things. When I got into the hobby in 2011, 2012, 2013, ice was not at the time an individual product. It was a bonus pack that they threw into, was it a peachy? They threw one bonus pack into a product. And in the bonus packs, we actually in the do bonus get a 2020, pack, 2021 bonus pack. In the bonus pack were uh, one, I think it was one to three rookie cards. I can't remember exactly. I'm, I'm, I'm ballparking here. One to three rookie cards, and they were numbered. They're tiers. The worst were not out of 9.99, and they go all the way down to 99. Mm. And the ice, the ice rookie out of 99, which were always the bigger name players, were very sought after. And I always just liked the design. I liked how it looked. I liked all that sort of stuff. But for when I was in the hobby, there wasn't an ice standalone product. They've brought it back in the past couple of years. It's been very you know highly touted and highly expensive and now there's patch cards in it the autos are hard signed you still get the bonus pack here on top from last year's and there's a decent amount of packs i like the look of it I, there's serial numbered cards i just think it's a nicely balanced product and i do have a weird feeling there's something good in here all We're right supposed to order this product the way i felt about it it was irrational how the way i wanted it but i wanted it i'm thinking left this time He's going left. Now, did you take the left because it looks slightly higher no. than the right? Okay. No, I didn't even notice. Jesus that. Christ. Wow. Okay. Is there a big one there? Obviously. <laughs> <laughs> oh it could be a really big decoy, bro. Okay, I actually got... Okay. Who knows? There, there could... There's probably at least one decoy. Yeah. I did get fooled on a decoy out of a UFC Select. Oh, there's only Starfall on one side? How many I packs it's, it? I guess it's because of the bonus Two, four, pack. Two, four, six. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Because this was on yeah, one yeah, side. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay, okay. How do you want to do the bonus pack? Rock, paper, scissors. Okay. The person with the worst hit in their pile, like like the person with the worst pile, gets the bonus pack. Okay, fair enough. All about inclusion. All right, who goes first? Uh, I guess your turn to go first. I've also never opened this product before, but I have seen some root breaks of this product, and it looks freaking awesome. So I'm actually a little bit excited about this, too. dirty patches in here, too. I've seen some really nice, well-thought-out patches. Yeah, so here we go. Starting it off with Artemi. Here. Can you pass the box so I can see the parallels? I've I've been seeing parallels on eBay for a while now, and I'm not understanding them at all. Philip Grubauer, Brock Besser, a rookie. I don't know what this is called. Green, a green rookie. I'm just gonna go it. with that. I'm working on it. Yeah, green base set parallel cards. A crystals rookie of Jamie Drysdale. Nice. Not bad. And Dawson Mercer rookie. Wish I could control F in real life. Regular crystal ice crystals cards one and four. Ice Crystal Rookies are 1 of 14, so that's actually not a bad hit. Okay. Josh Norris, Nico Heischer, Anders Lee, Elias Pettersson on the green, Ooh. Jake Gensel. Just call it orange. You know what? Probably. I'm just going to put all these in one pile. So yeah. I'm going to get I, I would put the drive dealt to this side. Jake Gensel yep. on the orange. Yeah, that's one every nine packs. Okay. So far, so good. And uh, Jacob Bernard Docker. That's a rookie. On the rookie. Next pack. Kale McCarr, off the top. Dominic Kabalik, nice name. Dougie Hamilton. Jason Robertson on the green. I think it's Kubalik. Hey! Kalen Addison on the orange, orange rookie. rookie. That's a good hit. And Jack Aiken on the base rookie. Now, the next three are my fat packs. There's no chance they'll all. No, they, they, they won't all be. That looks real. That does look real. I think I'm, I think I just have to go yeah, through go them it, all. Go over. There's no point in a, trying to delay delay the excitement. We got Pusuter, Braden Point. I think I got, got a few two, more cards. More, yeah. Patrick Laine. You got one more. Darnell Nurse on the green. Did you got got? Or, no, that's a hit. Nashville. Mm. Tana Geno. Is it the right year? I don't know anymore. It is Tana Geno. Oh, oh they the put exquisite. exquisite. Rookies. Nice. Rookies. Collection out of two ninety nine. Nice. Wow. And the uh, Jimmy Drysdale on the base there. Not a bad rook to get on the exquisite. That looks nice. That's a nice card. They have auto versions of that too, by the way. That is a stick thick. Yep. That's ultra thick. Cool. Still two more. Probably gonna get at least one decoy here. Be surprised if I don't. I want to say it's the decoy. It looks like that a decoy. decoy. Alexander Barkov. Mark Giordano. John Gabriel, 
Green of Matthew Kachuk. Ooh. Ooh, Alex Newhook on the premieres, numbered out of 799, and it was a decoy. You were correct. And Scott Perinovich on the base rookie. Um, it might also be a decoy. Yeah, that looks like a decoy. Actually, it looks like a decoy, but I think I also have something else. Is it uh, a double? A double Joey feature? Keane. I'm going to pull off the back. This is Joey Keane. Okay. Brad Marchand, Frozen and Ice. Okay, I think we actually are guaranteed the Frozen and Ice uh, inserts. Oh, so, it's a it's a window card. Uh, Ooh. Do we open it? Probably not. I'm for sure opening it through that. You want to? Yeah, hell yeah. Well, but not yet. Not yet. Not yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Brad Marchand, <laughs> open that. You done? Uh, Yeah, yeah, that's all I got. Do I open an hour later? I'm down to open an hour. Inside this frozen and ice card are numerous possibilities. Look for ice cream minis as well as numbered parallels. Discover what's inside. Open the card using the perforated per, 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 perforated perforated line on the back. Do you want to do it right now? Sure. So that top part is a little bit of a that you pull down the middle strip, but you got to try and work out that top little niche first because you can still sell the card with the window open. I don't know if you want to try and use the scissors to here. Give me the scissors. Before ever we surgery. A, ever see surgery with a hockey card? All right. Here we go, guys. It looks like a mini. That's a satisfying rip. Be careful now. Go nice and slow. One perforation at a time. And don't pull the other one. I think you could probably get the card out with the one window. Adam Beckman. I don't know who that is. Me neither. I, I don't think I can. Okay. You can, you can get it out now. Adam Beckman mini. Is it numbered? Nope. That was interesting. I don't care about Ber Bergeron, so... You mean Marchand? Marchand, same thing. Not the same thing. Congratulations on a great career, Bergeron. <laughs> you were done. That's pretty cool. Technically speaking, probably should have left it closed. I don't think Adam Beckman's anything, but... Hey, Livy. You won't know unless you try. Joel Erickson Eck, Michael Granlin, Leon Dreisaitl, Green of Lane Pedersen. That's a rookie. Ooh. Ooh! Ooh. Connor McDavid, Sub-Zero. I wish it was numbered. I don't know how rare that is, but it's the only one we got in the box so far. Is it a purple? You know what? It might be a purple parallel, though. Or Could a be. lavender parallel. Hold on a second here. Hold on a second here. Sub-Zero. Because you didn't pull any Sub-Zeros, right? Nope. Sub-Zero stars... That didn't help at all. I don't know. But we'll find out. That might be a nice parallel. Let's see if I pull any other Sub-Zeros. Base, 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 green Gensel. Damn. Oh. Neil Maramanov numbered out of 1299. Unfortunate. Barboule rookie. The best packs are yet to come. I think those are our two premiers. I think that's what you're guaranteed. Collect at least two ice premiers per box. Yeah. Nurse. Gensel again. Ports. Vasily puts cold for the glue. And you got a crystal behind it. All nice and folded on top, just the way I like it. Huh. Stupid. Yeah, that's that's going back to upper deck. Stutzla on the crystals. Now I gotta keep all this. Do you have the receipt for this? So far, it looks like I'm opening up the ice pack. Rantanen. Tavares. Batherson. Green Tavares. Ew, Ooh. magenta. Patterson. And a Cole Sillinger rookie. No decoys. <laughs> decoy? Yes, but more. <laughs> it's a decoy and a hit. Oh, okay. We're going to go decoy and hit first. There we go. Another freaking crystal. Larkin. Crystals of Marcheseau. And a rookie jersey of Alexei Protas. Okay. Rookie jersey. Not a phenomenal rookie to get. A rookie of Rasmus Kapari. The crystals of Jonathan Marcheseau. And a green of Dylan Larkin. You cannot sell this product by pack. Let me tell you. No. Let's see if I got something here. Let's see if we got a nice hit in our last pack. I don't think so. Pedersen, Ranton and Green. Premier jerseys of Moritz okay. Sutter. Decoy. But there's a Premier's jersey. I wish it was numbered, but it's a Premier's. So that's nice. That's it. And Garrett Pilon, rookie. And that's it for mine. I think I'll be taking that uh, ice pack. So this is to, important to note. This product is 21-22. This is 2021. So different rookie crop. 
Is this a uh, Stutzla, Kaprizov, Robertson? I don't know anymore. Okay. Jake Evans. Heischer. Gibson. Thomas Harley premiers to 999 and a Gallagher Green. All right. Well, well. It was fun. Mm -hmm. I really like the variety. I like the color. You really do have to hit the right names. I wish we hit at least one nice premiere. I mean, the new hook's not... Was it a new hook that you got? New hook is kind of a middle-of-the-road guy. Yeah. yeah. Not terrible. Um, I like the potential. Honestly, the you know, that's probably the best hit. Um, I like the potential. Honestly, there's there's a lot of... Uh, you know, if you hit the right names, if we, if we pulled the right premiere out of here, we got three different premieres. If we had one hit, that, w that would have paid for the box. Um, you know, there's lots of great content here as well. I got two jersey cards. Both of them are rookie content. It's a good product. I, I liked it. Would I do it again if it's on sale? I would, personally. Yeah. Um, you know, there's there's not really any big hits to show you guys once more. Uh, but uh, do I like the product overall? I do. I like I like the the, the um, disparity in content and whatnot. I like it. Yeah, I agree. Um, that was my first time ever opening a nice product, and I think the coolest part of that was actually getting the chance to open <laughs> one of those like ripped. Uh, like rippable uh, back of the cards kind of thing to get the to get the mini card uh, behind it. I don't really know of any other company that no. does something like that. No. I don't think anybody else does. So that's what really Deck did it with a product called Chronology in uh -huh. eighteen nineteen. That's the last time they did it. Okay, I think that was really cool. That's like that's like a hidden like secret kind of hit thing. Yep. Uh, so it's, that, that was that was pretty awesome. It's a gamble within a gamble, right? Like you, yeah. you have the choice if you want to. Uh... Break it or leave it. Yeah. Um, overall, the cards look pretty good. I think there was only one damage card, which was the crystal, which I can imagine that's yeah, probably going to be the one that is most consistently damaged across all boxes, simply based off of how it's cut. You're getting a lot of those designers. Sometimes. Um, yeah, Upper Deck is going to be receiving a lot of those. Other than that, though, condition was good all yeah. across the board. It's nice. Really, the only thing we missed out on was a good name. Yep, and an um, auto. And the an nice auto. to grab an auto. But that happens sometimes. You take a risk. Sometimes you win. Sometimes you lose. I think this was like middle of the road. Maybe slightly below average of yeah. a box. Yeah. Um, but it was worth it. Will you see another one of these boxes? I think yes. I think we would do this again uh, on if the box is on sale, in my honest opinion. I can imagine it going on sale. Yeah, yeah. I think so too. Uh, cool. Well, there you have it. We're the Pack Bros, and we're out of packs. So we're out of time. We'll see you later.